I keep hearing that there's a lot of rejections in Hyderabad consulate. But what was your experience? Uh, implementation based difference between C++ and Java. Said it in a very professional way. Okay, hold on a second. Again, he was started typing. So I think this mm-hmm. was the turning point where where these are. I think completely changed the game. Was the rejection or approval? It was actually a rejection. But before you watch that, I just want to say, if you are someone who just got your F1 visa approved and you're planning to come in fall 2025, please let me tell you, job market is extremely brutal. And before you come, come ready with your resume, LinkedIn, networking and all of it. And if you don't know how to do it, I have built job hunting accelerator program. It is an ultimate job hunting course that you need to have. And you also not just course, you also get community, you get live sessions and all the fun stuff. And you know what? We have 2000 plus students who are getting job offers and they said, I wish I would have joined it before coming to United States. So here is your disclaimer. Don't wait after because you will probably end up coming to our course. Maybe you'll come after coming to United States. Instead of that, join right now so you get head start in your job hunting journey. I'll see you in the community, but for now, enjoy this experience. Thank you, Vasudev, for doing this. Uh, means a lot to me. Thank you for reaching out and sending that email. As soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, we need to do this, uh, especially the Hyderabad consulate. And I've heard stories where it's 50% rejections for F1 right. visa. And so I'm like, okay, you've just gone through that experience. Let's share it what's going on and what was your experience. So before we get into that, uh, let's do quick intro. Who are you? Where are you going to study? Um, yeah. Uh, hi, everybody. Hi, Yudi. Uh, my name is Vasudev Pant and I actually am from Delhi, but we, uh, currently I'm living in Dehradun, Uttarakhand. I have done my B.Tech in Information Technology from DIT University, Dehradun, Uttarakhand. And recently I have got admission into Arizona State University for pursuing Masters of Science in Business Analytics, which is given by the university's business school, that is WP Carey School of Business. And recently I've got my visa approved from the Hyderabad Consulate. So let's talk about what's going on. Um, like I've, I keep hearing that there's a lot of rejections in Hyderabad Consulate, but what was your experience? Uh, and so you're going for uh, Arizona State University. It's a good, like, well-known university. So, uh, how was your experience? And did you like this? Is is this your first time for applying for visa? Uh, yes, it is my first attempt uh, that I applied for visa, and I got it approved in my very first attempt. So, talking about my experience, uh, I got a, I actually got in. I would remember ten thirty. Like I reached consulate at ten uh, sharp ten uh, because. I have to, uh, because it was said that please at least reach uh, 30 to 45 minutes prior. So I reached at uh, 10 sharp and I just submitted all my stuff, uh, including my bag and my suitcase as well. Because right after my interview, irrespective of the verdict, I have to catch my flight and come back to Delhi. So yeah. I uh, submitted as I submitted all my stuff and I rushed uh, as soon as possible for uh, for my turn. Actually, before uh, moving in, I, I uh, actually stood there for a while and then somebody out of that uh, lock, locker uh, who was managing that locker, he told, he asked me like, uh, kya time hai aapka? At, at what time you have your interview set? It's at 10.30. So then you can go. Everybody is, uh, who is in, in, uh, within this slot is already there in the line. So I joined the line and initially the process was very smooth. Like now here's the main story begin. They, uh, out of some who were actually, who was actually keeping an eye on the allocation of the counters. Uh, she was actually a lady. She, uh, just gave me like this. Okay. Now you can come. So I actually went to a counter, uh, to the counter in which including me, there were only two applicants, like one was, and the applicant who was right in front of me was also an F1 applicant. And I, uh, I won't, I think the course, I remember that actually he was going to pursue masters in information systems, which is mostly yeah. given by the B schools of the universities out there in the U, uh, universities out there in the U S. So I remember that, um, that already, already two questions were, uh, two questions were being asked by the v, uh, visa officer and the visa officer, the question that actually caught my attention was when the visa officer asked uh, him that, uh, okay, you are going on for masters of science and information systems, uh, information systems. So which kind of courses you are going to cover? 
so he told uh, he was actually fumbling a lot then uh, the visa officer asked him that okay do you know how to code so this was the biggest thing where he actually fumbled so he just mm-hmm. said that okay uh, he said that uh, i know how to code i know how to code in c++ but i also have some fundamental knowledge about java so you know so then mm-hmm. the question he asked out of this answer okay can you tell me some uh, implementation based difference between c++ and java so i think so i think this was the so i think this was the turning point sorry so i think this mm-hmm. was the turning point there where visa officer i think completely changed the game and i was getting very 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 anxious when he asked this question although i knew although i knew the answer that how it is uh, how the both the languages are different because well, i am probably myself, thinking like oh my gosh like i am going to get asked maybe i'll get asked all these technical questions and, correct, and maybe correct. even you do know the answer but still like you know what if they go multi threading what if they go like pointers <laughs> whatsoever yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's going to be like a viva exam <laughs> completely completely actually when the visa officer asked this question from the person who is standing in uh, standing just uh, j- just in front of me i was like are we are we here for an visa for a visa interview or are we giving a sort of a computer practical uh, computer coding language practical during which we used to give during our college days the way he was giving the answers actually he was very very fum- very much fumbling there very much fumbling there so what happened to like once the question was asked like implementation yeah, between yeah. c++ versus java and, so did yeah, did they yeah. answer and then was the rejection or approval I know this is very interesting visa interview and there's more craziness going to happen in the later part of the interview so stick around but before that I just want to thank Empower for sponsoring this video and also let you know that if you are someone who haven't yet gotten the loan and looking for no collateral no co-signer loan then look no further Empower can help you with exactly that they are taking bet on you and your future potential they don't need go guarantor or collateral to give you the loan and not just that what I truly love about them because i've partnered with them for last 2 years they are truly about helping the student international student community and just for that they also have this career accelerator program where you will get help in your f1 visa interviews preparation you will also have 8 week long career boot camp i mean i'm going to be teaching 5 week long live sessions where we'll go through your co-op and internships and resume building and all of that not just that you'll also have access to premium job hunting tools and even once you land you will have access to the community and they will help you in every single way because they are built by international student for international student so again i highly recommend check out link will be in the description and there is also scholarship which even you don't even have to get their loan but you can still apply for their scholarship so i'll put that as well in the description so check it out and now i'll let you enjoy the craziness of the f1 visa interview it was actually a rejection then my then my chance then my it comes my uh, my turn i was very very anxious and then uh, visa officer t- uh, just greeted me uh, good morning can you can, can you t- uh, pass on me your passport and your i20 form i said good morning officer i'm fine and here's my passport and i20 so uh, he kept my passport and he was looking in my i20 form we just had a quick uh, thorough reading of uh, he read it very quickly and had a thorough reading of uh, thorough knowledge to to gain that thorough knowledge of my uh, in uh, of my academic and in, uh, academic intentions from that i20 form and then he asked me uh, so you have applied to arizona state university uh, why asu so you know ud uh, it, it, it is a bit funny thing but you know when i st- when i actually started my answer my fir- the first i was not able not even able to complete the first line of my answer and he suddenly interrupted me he suddenly interrupted me and i said that and i was again i started mentally taking myself i think it's gone for me and then he asked me okay then yeah. then the then he asked me okay what are the another universities you uh, you the another universities you applied in so i told him i applied uh, to these universities one is in northeastern one is university of colorado boulder and this is arizona state university this was the first answer he he come he uh, he listened completely and then he gave hmm. me a long look a, uh, for a small time he gave me a long look and he then said okay these were the three, three universities 
why you applied in Arizona? Now, why you selected ASU over the rest group? So I actually gave him the answer that uh, the program that I'm going to pursue, that is MS in business analytics. I was also looking for a specialization in cloud computing as well. And Arizona State University had a dedicated specialization track in it. So he again interrupted me. And then mm. he's, and then he just to, you know, he, maybe he just with the previous guy, he also got that scope, that slight scope of me to scrutinize me. And he said that, okay, so you have said that cloud computing is the specialization you were seeking for with this program. So were these two universities giving this program, uh, this uh, specialization? I said, uh, no officer, they were completely focusing on the core studies. So, okay. Okay. Fine. Um, I just also you, so then comes the main question that same somewhat techie type question, tech geek type question. Mm. So he said, okay, you say you are looking for cloud computing, um, special as uh, the specialization cloud computing. Can you tell something about cloud computing and how as a business, as a business analyst, it is going to help you once you complete this degree. So I think this was a one complete question and my gut feeling mm. for that very small, for a very short period of time, I thought that for me, this is the star of the, this is the star of the interview. And, you know, actually, uh, UD, so I answered him and then I attached, uh, then I attached my secondary, uh, the answer to the secondary question that as a business analyst, how you, it, cloud computing is going to help you. So I just told him that, see, at this moment, there, uh, at this moment, we are in, uh, we are in uh, proximity with tons of data and cloud computing is actually going to help in such a way that we can keep our data with us as long as we can and it will help in avoiding the data from uh, get, getting misplaced tampered or even frisked so i gave this answer and then he once again gave me a long look and he was like he was long look but on a positive end then it was, I think it was a sigh of, sigh of relief for me, which made me assume that I think he is, uh, sort of satisfied with the answer. And then mm. it was the final question that, and that was the point that, that I finally stopped that mental ticking, that mental ticking finally stopped at that point. And then he finally mm. asked, asked me the question that, uh, okay, uh, the duration of your pro, uh, this is the duration of the program. So how you are going to, uh, you know, manage the duration. I want to ask like how the complete expenses are going to be managed. So I answered him that, uh, my parents are going to, uh, my parents are going to fund my education with a combination of their savings and an education loan. And along with this, we also have some assets valued at this, this much amount. And then he just said, oh, okay, hold. And then he just said it in a very professional way. Okay. Hold on a second. Again, he was started typing. I was like, nah, now nah, I think I have given the, this is the most genuine answer, not the genuine, but this <laughs> is the most genuine answer that I have to give. And, uh, then he gave a long look and said, okay, hold on a second. And then he just checked my passport once again to, uh, you know, check all those sort of details. And then he gave, uh, and his actually voice got cracked for a while. I don't know. It's for a sort of a technical glitch and he passed on me my I-20, my I-20 was because in between that gap, sometimes because of that vacuum push, it was uh, flowing and he said, okay, congratulations, your visa is approved. Enjoy your studies. You can uh, Nice. Amazing. So is your uh, flights booked? Uh, yes, uh, UD, my flights are also booked. That was the first thing that I did right after my <laughs> visa interview. Thank you, Vasudev, again, uh, for sharing your journey. Amazing story. Uh, love your right. uh, explanation. Uh, love your animation love love how passionate you are about sharing your story thank so you. again thank, thank you so you much. much hopefully i meet you in asu and we do another video as well but until sure. our next one yeah keep smiling and keep hustling